Hi there. I'm Carrie Credit, and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about supplement solutions for healthy kids. And let's get started. So I am not a medical doctor. I cannot make any medical recommendations, diagnose or treat illness. Do seek medical advice or CNMD if you're concerned about a medical condition. I'm a nutritionist. I make nutritional recommendations to help your body function better. When your body functions better, symptoms can decrease or go away completely, but whole food nutrients and herbs are just a supplement to a healthy diet. They are not a substitute for medical care. So I can't make those kind of recommendations, but I can definitely help you try to feel better. So I love helping kids when I see them, they come into the office, they, it's, they have no judgment, they have no kind of ideas what I'm doing or preconceived notions that what I do is weird. So I muscle test and I help with solutions to health. So this is a picture um, here of my grandson, Jack. I He is one of the reasons I do what I do. I want to give children a good foundation so they can be healthy, productive, and responsible far into the future. Kids, like adults, should be on a nutritional program to support them as they grow and change. They change even faster than we change as adults. Their cells are constantly doing new things and their bodies are growing. So I love supporting them through their through their changes as they get older. There are natural solutions to health problems. I want kids and their parents to know that. And all the things I am going to talk about here apply to kids and adults as well. So supplements are a tool to help your body meet its needs. Every human is different. Every human being has different needs and those needs do change over time. A person in good health might have minimal need for supplements. A person with symptoms or concerns might benefit from supplements to improve organ function and help supply energy and nutrition to the cells, to the mitochondria. In this office, we use specific supplements for specific needs at specific times. The supplements are not all created equal. We only carry the best of the best, and it does matter when it comes to the brand you choose. Today, I'm going to talk a lot about a lot of supplements, and these are general statements. These these supplements in particular will help a lot of things, but for more personalized care, you can reach out to the office and we might be able to help you with your needs as well. So kids need nutrients to growing bodies do require adequate protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals. Keeping your kids healthy with good foods and some supplements when needed is important. And what you do put in your body or your kid's body matters. The reference that's listed here is for the Children's Health Defense Network. So this is a really good resource for information on vaccines. This is a whole topic, a whole lecture in and of itself. So I'll let you look into that a little bit further. Healthy foods, organic free range eggs, meat, chicken, lamb, fish, milk and cheese if tolerated, organic butter, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, avocados, these are healthy fats. Lentils and chickpea pastas are a great option for feeding kids. Hummus, nut butters to supply some protein and get a good salt. Celtic, Himalayan, or Redmond real salt are good salt options as healthy foods. So this picture depicts products. So what I tell everyone, adults and children, is focus on real food, not products. So anything in a bag, in a box, with a label that has ingredients you can't read, these are things that you should steer clear of whenever possible. I just saw a post online with the Campbell Soup label, and it said made with soy, wheat, genetically modified products. So steer clear of these things that are not real foods. Problems that white sugar causes in the body, whether it's a little children's body or an adult body, sugar suppresses the immune system. It causes inflammation. It can make your organs swell for up to three days. 
Sugar causes problems with focus, attention, mood, energy. It depletes B vitamins from the body. So these, this is a problem for, for kids and adults as well. And sugar is highly addictive. There's a great book by Kathleen de Maison called Sugar Little, Little Sugar Addicts. And this is a great resource for helping get your kids to limit their sugar. So some supplements that I'll talk about here that are nice to have in your medicine cabinet, supplement cabinet when you have kids, but also again, these help with adults having these problems too. So a fever, a fever is a normal response to illness or the body getting rid of toxins. There are some supplements that can reduce fever more naturally without stopping the natural processes that need to occur. Inflammatone is a homeopathic product. It helps with fevers, sore throats. Um, it can help with anything going on in the head, headaches. So this is a great one to help naturally reduce a fever. Calcium lactate. Calcium lactate is another great product. This is a standard process product. This also can help when there's a sunburn. So anytime there is kind of an inflammatory process like that going on in the body, these are two things that are really helpful to have on hand. Nausea, upset stomach, vomiting, fast food from standard process is one of the best products that can help stop upset stomach, stop nausea and vomiting. It is a liquid, so it's easy to give to children. Choline is standard process. That's a tablet. So a little bit harder to give if kids can't swallow a pill, but great if there's been food poisoning, great if there is upset stomach and nausea. It's a B vitamin. So it's also great for focus and brain function as well. And GB Tone, this is a homeopathic product. It's a liquid. So again, easier to give to kids. I try to use a lot of liquids with kids. Helps with nausea, upset stomach, vomiting, digestive distress. Helps the bowels work a little better too. Injuries, cuts, scrapes, bug bites, anything going on topically on the skin. Colloidal silver is a great thing to have around. Can help if there's a burn, can help if there's a bug bite, can help with, with any kind of skin problems. I tell people it's like a healthy antimicrobial, like a healthy neosporin. So it would be something that you could put on topically if there is an injury that can help the body to be doing better topically. Bioplasma, this is another highly multi-use supplement. Bioplasma does help with bug bites, allergic reactions, immune system support too. Immune system health in general, colds. Camu Camu vitamin C is a powdered vitamin C. So this is a great one if you're trying to, and it tastes kind of chocolatey. So with kids and trying to get them to take their nutrients, the Camu Camu vitamin C powder is very good. Vitamin D, especially as we move into the back to school season, the vitamin D is a good one. It's also good for bones and bone health with kids. It does come in a liquid version of vitamin D from systemic formulas. It tastes kind of like mango. Core elderberry is our elderberry that we have here in the office. Elderberry can help with coughs, congestion, colds, anything kind of sinusy going on. Again, back to the bioplasma as being a helper when there's colds, flus, immune system, stress kind of helps with the congestion too. Grapefruit seed extract is a nice antimicrobial supplement that does come in tablet or liquid form. So that's a good one to have around for kids. Grapefruit seed also can be used. You can use it in the ears if, if a child has an ear infection or adult, but grapefruit seed extract, a nice antimicrobial to have on hand. I have here listed also Aller Nest. Aller Nest is great for any kind of sinus um, lung, upper respiratory things going on. And again, a liquid, so easy to give, easier to take. And I recommend that everyone has a nebulizer in their house. So nebulizers can be used with distilled water and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to drive that oxygen into the lungs, into the cells. So with kids and croup, 
and sinusy stuff. I, I've used this with my grandson before. I've used it myself with headaches, just trying to drive some oxygen in. So you just breathe in the distilled water with hydrogen peroxide. And that can be really a helpful tool to have around your house too. Focus and brain health. This is important for everyone, kids in school, but adults as well. B vitamins are almost always part of focus and mental acuity. Things that can help with calming would be more calm five and fields of flowers, but some of the B vitamins are also calming too. We have a supplement called Cataplex B2, and that is a more calming B vitamin. And some fish oils can be nice. We have one called Omega Focus. We have Pro DHA. These are more calming, but also help with attention and focus in kids and adults. Gut health is important for all body health. Disruptors are many. To name a few, glyphosate, immunizations, sugar, they're all big factors in gut health. Prosymbiotic is a probiotic that we like that helps when there is any kind of bowel distress, constipation, diarrhea, but just helps give good flora to the gut. Another good probiotic, CT biotic. This is from Cellcore. So that's a nice probiotic that has some, some good properties to it too. And then we often use a product called Para3 to help the immune system. It helps if there's parasites, it helps um, just in general support with gut and immune health. So some general health ideas, EWG.org can help you find healthy products, shampoo, body wash, lotions, sunscreen items for babies, kids, and adults. Essential oils can be great for diffusing, cleaning, disinfecting. They can be used for internal or topical use. Some that I highly recommend are thieves, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, good tools to have in your house to use for illness and just health in general. Giving supplements to kids, I always recommend people get a mortar and pestle, a blender, a Vitamix, or a Ninja so that you can blend supplements, eyedroppers for giving liquids. A lot of the liquid supplements do come with an eyedropper, but having those things available will help make you be able to give those supplements easier. Liquids and crushed supplements can go in small amounts of juice or coconut water. I usually say a no sugar added juice. You could make a smoothie and add those things to it. What I tell everyone is use the smallest amount you can of that thing to get the supplement in. So you're not taking a whole smoothie, whole smoothie, putting things into it and flavoring the whole thing. You're using just the least amount you can of something that might taste a little stronger, maybe a cherry juice, maybe ningxia from Young Living, something that a little kombucha, something that has a little more flavor, a smoothie, and then using the smallest amount of that to add the crushed supplement or a liquid to have the child take it quickly and then just have them chase it with the good tasting thing after that. Um, you can add things to applesauce, yogurt, pudding, smoothies, and that's a great way to get the supplements in to kids. So I do have a great hope for the future. This is my grandson again, Jack. I want to help all children and their parents to have the best future they can. There's a lot of challenge, challenges facing us right now, toxins in the environment, fake foods, EMFs, Wi-Fi. And so I'm hoping to create a generation here of informed, productive, healthy, strong boys and girls who will be great leaders to help us as we age in the future. I look forward to helping you any way I can with your health. I hope this video gives you some good information for more specific recommendations for you. We would ask you to reach out to us and see what might be able to help you most. You can always email our office or you can call us too. It is, you can email us at welcome at the nhcaa.com. And I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon.